Okay, folks, so now I'm back with uh, what I call my funny encounters. So since I've been here in uh, South Korea, I've met uh, a lot of different types of people um, from all over the world. And, um, and I have to say that it's been interesting. I've learned so much about myself and about people in general um, since I've been here. And uh, I just, I mean, just, just the weirdest things happen to me when I'm out and about. Um, so this is the most recent weird thing that happened. So my friend Trout came down from Ulsan. Like, we've been kicking it hard lately. <clears throat> so Trout comes down from Ulsan, and we decide to go to um, the Bookboo bus terminal. So this is an area where you can get all kinds of, um, like, ethnic Asian food and whatever. So we're going to one of the shops, and this one, like, sold green tea and stuff. And I was just so happy to get green tea and sunflower seeds. Lord, sunflower seeds. We like to have all kinds of spasms of joy just seeing sunflower seeds there because that is one thing I have not found here so if y'all want to send us some sunflower seeds, mo power to you, okay? Just send me a message. I will send you my um, my mailing address and send us some sunflower seeds, preferably salted. Just just the salt ones, plain salt ones, roasted. Yeah, I don't need the pickle and and all that other stuff. Mm, no, it's doing too much ranch, doing too much. Just plain old salt. Keep it simple. Anyway, so <laughs> we're in this store and we're um, walking around and stuff. Oh, and by the way, my friend Trout is Vietnamese American. This is significant because people don't know that he's not Korean. So when we're going around places and stuff, we kind of get stares, you know, because anytime you see a man and a woman together, they obviously think that it's like a dating type of thing. Like men and women can't just be friends here. Anyway, um, not that I didn't just, you know, make a blatant, you know, generalization. Uh, so we go to pay for the stuff and the lady is just all kinds of smiles and stuff. And she tells me, she's like, oh, yepoda, yepoda. And I've come to realize that yepoda means um, beautiful, right? So I've been called beautiful um, so many times here in Korea, which actually, you know, touches my heart. Um, but I don't take compliments very well. So she says, oh, yepoda. I'm like, oh, okay, thank you. You know, I'm thinking, oh, you know, they typically, in my mind, it's like, oh, she's exotic and different. Um, so anyway, she tells me this. And I'm like, oh, thank you so much. You know, no, no, no. And she says, no, no, no. Yes, 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 yepo, yepo. Choke them fat. What? Took me a second to process that. She said choke them in Korean, which means a little, and fat in English. I don't know how she, why she knew fat, but she knew fat. She know nothing else really but fat. And then she made this little things like smaller, you know. It's like diet. Choke them diet. Good, good. So... It took me a moment. I was just like, so what you're saying, lady, is that my face is beautiful because she made sure she framed the face. But I'm a little fat, so I need to go on a little diet to lose some weight. And I was like, I don't know if I should laugh or be offended. Uh, I think I was a little bit of both. You know, you got those kind of confused emotions going on. Um, so I just kind of left it off. I was like, you know what? We're just going to keep it pushing. And my friend was looking at me like, did she just say you were? I was like, you know what, play it. Just let it go. Just Let's just pay for our stuff and, and move on. And the lady, the look that she gave me was clearly that she was not trying to be mean. That she just was like, I gave you this compliment and I'm just trying to help a sister out. That was like the look on her face is, your, your face is beautiful. You're doing a good job with your makeup and stuff. Because I happened to wear makeup that day. Like, you're doing a good job with your makeup or whatever. And just, just slim it down a little and you'd be perfect. You know, just go on a little diet. And it was really just like a middle-aged woman trying to give a younger woman some advice on, on you know, how to live your life and whatnot. Uh, which strangers here have absolutely um, no problem. Particularly older women have absolutely no problem doing. And and as a, though it can be a bit annoying as a younger woman and as a foreign woman or whatever, um, I kind of can't wait to get to that age. <laughs> Truthfully, I can't wait till I can be an older woman and say whatever I feel like to whomever I feel like and just be like, mm-hmm, child, good, and just keep it pushing. Um, so it was just, you know, one of my funnier encounters. Um, and I was just happy that it was a funny encounter and not a scary one because I've had a couple of uh, scary encounters since I've been here as well. So that was my uh, funny foreigner or funny encounter <laughs> of May. But I still got one more day to go. I'm I'm going out later on tonight, so who knows what may happen. Bye, YouTubers. Thanks for watching. Namaste.